from averaging 100,000 players to 27,000 at the time of recording. Roblox Store seems to have lost some of its hype. Is Roblox Stores dying? Or is the developers having little to no major updates in the game causing its downfall? This is the rise and fall of Roblox Stores. So to know how this downfall might have occurred, we have to look at the main parts of the game to understand what might have went wrong. Let's start first with Entitles. So the main monsters in the game can be monsters like Rush, Seek, Ambush, and Figure. But, let's explain how these work starting with Rush. To know when Rush will come, lights will flicker. When the lights flicker, players must have to go inside a closet until he goes away. Next is Ambush. Ambush is similar to Rush, instead he will come in the room multiple times before making his exit. Next is Halt. To know when Halt will make his arrival, lights will flicker multiple times, then spawn you inside a hallway. You must turn around when he's in your way until you reach the end. Next is Seek. Seek triggers an epic chase. All you have to do is dodge objects and go through the right door to beat him. So now that we've explained how the game works, let's explore our next part of the video. The Rise Doors was made on the March 14, 2021, and was one of the most realistic horror games people have ever seen. Everyone thought Doors had a good chance of becoming one of the most biggest games on the platform. YouTubers like Dennis, Flamingo, and Creekcraft made videos on the incredible horror game. As more and more YouTubers played it, the more players it would receive. And in one year Doors reached a billion visits making it the second fastest game to reach a billion visits behind the popular game Roblox Piggy. The developer L Splash made more updates, and even Sneak Peeked Floor 2. Then on the November 6, 2022, the first sneak peek for Hotel Plus was released. Here it is. Lots of people were excited about Hotel Plus, and negative comments felt extinct in the video's comment section. It's cool how you decided to put depth in the game as a painting for a little easter egg. I think that would mean you guys think that the Ides is creative. I know you guys aren't adding them into the game, and I personally think it should stay like that. Anyways this update looks sick. Awesome. I adore the care put into this game and the community. The game looks very beautiful. This is amazing. The lock suddenly breaking, which I've always wanted makes it more eerie, and those two doors right next to each other looked ominous. The Doors community were excited about the future of the game, and a week later, we got the biggest update yet. Everyone was excited, and the game was growing faster than ever. December 2022 was on everyone's calendar for Doors Hotel, plus. Then December arrived, and nothing released. It wasn't until 29th of January Doors Hotel, plus released. Players skyrocketed to around 150,000 to even 200,000. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, so no need to tell me. We'll find out as we go along. Ooh, look at that new image. That looks cool. Doors Hotel Plus was an amazing update for player counts, and it looked like the game made a comeback, which it did for a month or two before player counts dropped a bit more. It wasn't until April Fools. Doors had an update. Super hard mode. Uh, let me, let me grab some. I, I, I imagine we're probably gonna need some money. What? Are you serious? This game sucks. I'm gonna go play Slide Down a Rainbow Slide. 
What was that? Super hard mode was definitely super hard. <laughs> but since super hard mode, no major updates have occurred. Which brings us to the next part of the video, the fall. Ever since super hard mode, player counts have dropped and fast. Videos dropping from around 2 million views to around 200,000 views. Is doors dying? Or is no major updates causing the downfall of Roblox doors? 